your first camp go? Um, my bad, y'all. I'm a little nervous, but let me be right. <laughs> but it's going well. Yes, sir. Have you gotten kind of a, a better idea of how they want to use you? Or are they kind of trying you out everywhere right now as far as inside, outside? I'm pretty sure it's going to be outside. Just learning everything, honestly. Just filling the toolbox, learning every technique, and just be ready wherever they want me to play. Yes, sir. Oh uh, man, I need it. So just you know, communicating, make sure everybody on the same page. You know, that's great. That's how you play fast. So yeah, that's what we need, and that's what they do. They talk to me, so I appreciate that. Has there been a standout of someone who's just kind of taken a leadership role for you? Um, all them guys, really. John Johnson, he talks to me a lot too, though. So he communicate with me. So. I love being on the field with him. Yeah. I know Denzel hasn't been out there, but what's it been like getting to know him and Greg out there? Denzel, he talked to me like every day. So yeah. just learning from him, I always ask him for tips, you know, because he's one of the best in the game. So I just ask him everything and just soak up everything. So I know he probably, he might get tired of me a little bit, but yeah, I appreciate him. What's been the most important or helpful tips that Denzel's given so far? Um, I was talking to him about press technique. So, you know, just being patient, you know, and just uh, having confidence. It's gonna be fun, you know. I'm ready. I'm ready to play that first preseason game. You know, just kind of to show everybody, you know, that around the organization what I ha what I have, you know, to offer and what MJ Emerson is about. I know in college you didn't maybe get targeted a ton. That was a big part of like your draft profile. That a lot of passes weren't thrown your way. Obviously in the NFL, I think teams like to test rookies out a little more. I guess are you excited to get more balls coming your way and maybe have some chances at, at takeaways or breakups or things like that? Yeah, I'm very excited. Sometimes in college, I, I would catch myself like telling myself, okay, lock in, the ball coming sooner or later. But it really didn't come too much. But now I know the ball coming my way, so it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Coaches, every time we talk to Joe Wood, he talks about how big you are. Watch my picture of linebacker. Um, how does that size help you when you're out there? Um, I feel like my size, it plays a big role, you know, of my, my style of play. Obviously, I'm a bigger corner, so, you know, I play physical. Um, be more patient. I can get my, you know, use my length to get hands on guys, you know, and, you know, receivers, they don't like to get touched, so I just use my size to my advantage. Have you, this is kind of a weird question, but have you always like been tall or did you like hit a growth spurt in high school that like you had to adjust to your new length or have you always kind of been bigger than everybody else when you're out there? Nah, I was like the smallest guy. Like in Little League, you know, part one, I was like the smallest guy. Not smallest, but yeah. I was like average size. Um, I want to say like my eighth grade summer, going into my ninth grade year, I hit a growth spurt. Okay. So did you have to like, once you got to high school, were you like learning how to, oh, I have like this new weapon in my in my pocket, so to speak, with my length that I'm bigger than guys I'm going up against? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What have you learned about Greg being around him for a few months? Greg's great guy, great player, uh, comes to work every day, you know, and uh, he's a young guy, but he's very mature and he, uh, he takes everything serious, so you know, I want to follow his footsteps, sure. Keep asking about specifics, but is there is there a guy out there that you maybe had to cover that has, that you've seen kind of helped your game uh, so far this camp? Um, Cooper, yeah, Cooper, uh, uh, man, he's a great player, and he makes uh, stay patient. He made me stay patient, you know, and, and don't guess. So I love going against him. How hard is it to, to follow his his route running? I know he's. That's, that's his whole bread and butter, right? Yeah, he's a real route runner. You know, he's a great player. So, I mean, it's fun. I just, it's a challenge. So, I just, you know, step up to the plate. You've gone against, coming from the SEC, you've gone against some pretty good receivers and, and some guys that were high picks this year. How does that kind of help you at this level? Uh, I, mean, I don't really know. I know guys, I mean, they was great players, you know, every Saturday. So, it's a lot of guys, you know, that might not have a big name, but they was also decent players. So. Um, I mean, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Yeah, it helps. But I don't really, I don't know. I don't really look at it like that. I just come in and just, I just try to do my job. I don't really care who is in front of me. So I just trust in my technique. If I do my job, then I'll win every rep. That's kind of how I look at it, honestly. Yeah. Who's the toughest guy you faced? Toughest guy I faced in college. Another one. Ooh. <laughs> Probably George Pickens. He's, he's a good player. Him. Same division, yeah. I get him twice a year. Though. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of your workout here 
is about going up against beds, going up against guys, and getting up to speed. But I'm curious for you in particular, what does the off-field work look like for you? Learning the playbook, getting up to speed, what does it look like when you're away from this position? Uh, studying, a lot of studying. Uh, just trying to better my game all the way around, you know, in college. I just study a lot. I just watch a lot of film on my opponent, so I will have like an upper hand. I would say, you know, because I just try to get familiar with the offense. So when I see certain things, it's not new to me. So I kind of anticipate, you know. But I obviously, play my game and react. But I can kind of know what's coming. So in college, I made a lot of plays by just watching film and just already knowing what's coming before it happened.